Hello everybody, this is Gary, and today I'm going to talk about dealing with fruit flies. Now, it's getting later in the year, and as people bring in produce, you're bringing in things like bananas from the grocery store, fruit fly populations start to build up in the house and they can be a bit of a nuisance. They even show up in the refrigerator sometimes. And uh, there's nothing worse than having a freshly baked, say, berry pie on the cabinet or something like that, and you lift up the top to get a piece and out fly a bunch of fruit flies. So not really pleasant. So I'm going to talk about a way today that you can actually get them to commit suicide while you watch Netflix or something else. Okay, there are a few things that you're going to need. First of all, uh, you need to purchase one of these if you don't have it. This is a an electrified uh, fly swatter. And another thing you're going to need is a bowl. Uh, this happens to be a plastic bowl. You don't want to use a metal one. The next thing you're going to need is some tape. And or you can use a really thick rubber band, but I usually use the tape. And then after that, you're going to need some apple cider vinegar. One of the names of fruit flies is vinegar flies. They're very attracted to this. And then you're going to need something, and in this case, I'm just using this battery pack to um, keep the um, trap flat to the surface. Okay, let's show you how to make this really quick. Now, the first thing we're going to do is after you put batteries in your um, fly swatter, when you push this little yellow button down right here, it shows you a red light. I think, let's see what side. Here's a red light right here. I hope you can see that. And um, you put this tape on tight enough so that that's always on. Let's see if I can get it right the first time. Okay, now we have that done. Next thing we're going to do is put some vinegar in here, maybe a quarter cup or so. Then place your trap on top like this. So this, and so that it's flat, you will put your battery pack under the end here. The trap should be right on top of the bowl so that there's no way that the fruit flies can go under the gap. And what will happen then is when the fruit flies try to get to this, they will land on this grid that is on and they will automatically be electrocuted. Now a new pair of batteries should last about two days. So you'll have to replace those. Uh, just watch for the red light to see if it goes on. You might want to check your trap every now and then to make sure that the tape stays tight enough to keep the light on. And then you can go down and go about your, uh, go away and go about your business. And what will happen is the fruit flies will try to get to that vinegar. They will hit that grid and they just pop, they explode. And uh, you don't have to do anything except make sure that the trap has um, electricity. Now it's also important that if you have anything on your cabinets like dirty dishes, um, bananas, uh, any kind of ripening fruit, you want to put all those in the refrigerator or put them in sealed bags. Now, Putting things in sealed bags can be a problem in itself too, but if you can, put it in the refrigerator so that the only thing that's available for the fruit flies to go to is your trap. And within a day or two, uh, usually it takes me a couple of days depending on how many fruit flies are in the house and how widely dispersed they are around the house, because I find them in the bathroom and occasionally in the bedroom on the mirror or something like that, then that will determine how long it will take you to take care of the problem. But I've used this for years. It works really well. Give it a try. This is Gary. I'm out.